The Veil of Illusion, Unveiling the Mastery of Mind. Welcome, seekers of truth and architects of reality. Today, we stand at the threshold of understanding, ready to unravel the intricate tapestry of mind control and the perception of reality. In this exploration, we shall not only unearth the secrets that bind our minds, but also discover the keys to unlocking a life of authentic abundance. Our journey begins with the recognition that reality as we perceive it is a construct of the mind. The mind is a powerful entity capable of creating worlds within worlds, shaping our experiences and defining our truths. Yet in its complexity, the mind can also become our prison limiting us with beliefs and perceptions that do not serve our highest good. To understand mind control, we must first understand the mind itself. The mind is a vast network of thoughts, beliefs, and perceptions, constantly in conversation with itself and the world around it. This conversation is influenced by a myriad of factors, our upbringing, culture, experiences, and the unspoken agreements we make with society about what is real and what is not. These agreements form the bedrock of our reality. They are the unseen scripts that dictate how we think, feel, and act. They tell us what is possible and what is not, what is valuable and what is not, what is worth pursuing and what is not. And so, without realizing it, we become puppets in our own play, with the strings of our reality pulled by the hands of conditioned thought. Now, imagine for a moment, what would happen if we could see these strings? What if we could trace them back to their origins and understand the mechanisms of our own conditioning? This is the essence of mind control, not the control by some external force, but the mastery of one's own mind. To achieve this mastery, we must first become observers of our own mental processes. Observation is the light that dispels the shadows of the unconscious. When we observe our thoughts without attachment, we begin to see the patterns that bind us. We see the fears that drive us, the desires that pull us, and the judgments that constrain us. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. In this observation lies a profound question. Who is the I that observes the mind? This question is not to be answered hastily, for it points to the very essence of our being beyond the constructs of the mind. It invites us to experience the self that exists independent of thought, the self that is connected to the source of all that is. As we deepen our practice of observation, we begin to loosen the grip of our conditioned responses. We start to recognize that we have the power to choose our thoughts, to select our beliefs, and to shape our perception of reality. This is where the true work begins, the work of intentional living. Intentional living is the art of aligning our thoughts, words, and actions with our highest vision for our life. It is the conscious creation of reality based on the understanding that we are the authors of our own story. To live intentionally, we must first clarify what it is that we truly desire, not what we have been conditioned to want, but what resonates with the core of our being. From this place of clarity, we can begin to dismantle the limiting beliefs that have held us captive. We do this not through force, but through gentle inquiry. We question the validity of our beliefs, and we hold them up to the light of truth. We ask, is this belief serving my highest good? Is it aligned with the reality I wish to create? The process of dismantling limiting beliefs is a liberation of the mind. It frees us from the chains of the past and opens us up to the infinite possibilities of the present. It allows us to step into the field of potentiality where all creation takes place. In this field, 
we realize that abundance is not something to be acquired, but something to be recognized as our natural state of being. Abundance, in its truest sense, is the fullness of life. It is the richness of experience, the depth of connection, and the expansiveness of love. To embrace a life of authentic abundance, we must expand our understanding of what it means to be abundant. It is not merely the accumulation of material wealth, but the realization of the wealth within. As we align with this inner wealth, our external reality begins to reflect it. We attract experiences, relationships, and opportunities that resonate with our inner state of abundance. We become magnets for the very things we desire, not because we are chasing them, but because we are embodying the energy of what we seek. This is the art of attraction, the understanding that like attracts like, and that by cultivating an inner state of abundance, we invite abundance into our lives. It is a shift from doing to being, from striving to allowing, from controlling to receiving. But this shift is not always easy. It requires us to let go of the familiar, to release our attachment to the outcomes, and to trust in the wisdom of the universe. It asks of us to surrender the illusion of control and to embrace the mystery of life. In this surrender, we find a freedom unlike any other. It is the freedom of being in alignment with the flow of life, of moving with the currents of creation, and of being an active participant in the unfolding of our own destiny. This brings us to the heart of mind control, the realization that we are not victims of our minds but masters of it. The mind, once understood and harnessed, becomes our greatest ally. It is a tool of immense power, capable of shaping the very fabric of reality. To wield this power with wisdom, we must cultivate a mind that is both disciplined and flexible. A disciplined mind is one that can focus with precision, hold a vision with clarity, and pursue a goal with determination. A flexible mind is one that can adapt to change, embrace new perspectives, and let go of old paradigms. The balance between discipline and flexibility is the dance of mastery. It is knowing when to push forward with intent and when to yield with grace. It is understanding that our power lies not in imposing our will upon the world, but in aligning our will with the greater will of the cosmos. In this alignment, we find the sweet spot of co-creation. We become co-conspirators with the universe, engaging in a dialogue of creation that shapes our reality in ways that serve the highest good of all. We learn to set intentions that are not only for our personal gain, but that contribute to the collective evolution. As we engage in this dialogue, we must also be mindful of the words we speak, for words are the spells that cast our intentions into the world. They have the power to build or to destroy, to heal or to harm, to uplift or to suppress. To master our reality, we must choose our words with care, infusing them with the energy of our highest intentions. And what of actions? Actions are the means by which we ground our intentions in the world of form. They are the brush strokes on the canvas of reality, the notes in the symphony of life. To act with mastery is to act with awareness, to be fully present in the moment of doing, and to infuse our actions with the purity of our intentions. This brings us to the practice of presence, the ability to be fully engaged in the now. Presence is the antidote to the mind's tendency to dwell in the past or to project into the future. It is the state of being where life happens, where creation takes place, and where reality is shaped. In presence, we find the power to transcend the limitations of time. We step into the eternal now, where all possibilities exist simultaneously. We tap into the infinite wellspring of creativity that is the birthright of every being. 
But how do we cultivate presence? It begins with the breath, the sacred bridge between the body and the mind, the physical and the non-physical. By bringing our attention to the breath, we anchor ourselves in the present moment. We become aware of the life force that flows through us, the energy that animates our being. From this place of centeredness, we can observe the movements of the mind without being swept away by them. We can witness our emotions without being overwhelmed by them. We can experience sensations without being defined by them. Presence is the fertile ground in which the seeds of our intentions are planted. It is the nurturing space where those seeds can grow and flourish. In presence, we become the gardeners of our own reality, tending to the garden with love and care. As we cultivate our garden, we must also be aware of the weeds that can choke our intentions. These weeds are the negative thoughts, the self-doubt, and the fears that can arise. To tend to our garden, we must gently remove these weeds, acknowledging their presence but not allowing them to take root. This process of weeding is an act of self-love. It is the recognition that we are worthy of a beautiful garden, that we are worthy of a life of authentic abundance. It is a commitment to ourselves and to the vision we hold for our lives. And yet, even as we tend to our garden, we must also recognize that we are not the sole creators of our reality. We are part of a larger ecosystem, interconnected with all of life. Our garden is but one plot in the vast expanse of the cosmic garden. This realization brings us to the concept of interconnectedness, the understanding that we are not separate from the world around us, but intimately connected to it. Our thoughts, words, and actions have a ripple effect, influencing the web of life in ways seen and unseen. Interconnectedness is the foundation of empathy, compassion, and understanding. It is the recognition that the well-being of others is inextricably linked to our own. To live from a place of interconnectedness is to live from a place of wholeness. The symphony of interconnectedness, harmonizing the self with universal rhythms. In our ongoing quest to master the mind and perceive reality with clarity, we arrive at a profound realization our individual consciousness is an intrinsic part of a grander universal consciousness. This interconnectedness is not just a philosophical concept. It pervades every aspect of our existence, influencing how we experience our lives and the reality we co-create. Let's delve deeper into this interwoven fabric of being. The idea of interconnectedness suggests that every thought we have sends vibrations into the universe. Every word we utter resonates beyond our immediate surroundings, and every action we take cascades into a series of events that extend far beyond our individual selves. This is not just a metaphor. It is the very nature of reality as a dynamic and interactive field of energy. Consider the concept of cause and effect, known in Eastern philosophies as karma. This is not about punishment or reward, but about the fundamental principle that every action has a reaction. This karmic principle applies to the realm of the mind as well. Our internal dialogues, the stories we tell ourselves, and the beliefs we hold dear all set into motion a chain of events that shape our reality. When we cultivate negative thoughts, we inadvertently contribute to a reality that reflects this negativity. Conversely, when we nurture positive, life-affirming thoughts, we naturally steer our lives toward more positive outcomes. This is not to say that positive thinking alone will manifest a life of abundance, but it is the essential soil from which the seeds of abundance can grow. In this context, Consider the impact of our collective consciousness. When groups of individuals focus their minds on a shared intention or goal, the power of their combined thoughts and emotions can affect change in remarkable ways. 
This is not mystical speculation, but a principle that has been explored in various fields, including the study of social movements, the power of group meditation, and the potential of collective healing practices. Now let us examine the role of the subconscious mind in shaping our reality. The subconscious is like the fertile ground beneath the surface, where the seeds of our conscious thoughts and beliefs take root. It operates under the radar of our conscious awareness, yet it is responsible for the automatic functions, habits, and deeply ingrained patterns that dictate much of our behavior. To truly free ourselves from self-imposed limitations, we must engage with our subconscious mind. This requires more than just willpower or conscious effort. It calls for a gentle and persistent reprogramming of the patterns that no longer serve us. Techniques such as meditation, mindfulness, and various forms of therapy can help us access the subconscious, allowing us to plant new seeds of belief and behavior that are congruent with the life of abundance we seek. Herein lies a question that cuts to the core of our being. Can we ever truly know the depths of our own subconscious? This question invites us to explore the profound layers of our psyche, to embrace the mystery of our inner world, and to recognize that the journey of self-discovery is an ongoing process with no finite end. In our pursuit of abundance, it is essential to redefine what abundance means to us personally. For many, abundance has been equated with material wealth and external success. However, true abundance encompasses so much more. It includes the richness of our relationships, the depth of our inner peace, and the extent of our personal growth. To live a life of authentic abundance, we must align our inner values with our outer actions. This means living with integrity, acting with kindness, and giving with generosity. It means recognizing that our true worth is not measured by our possessions or achievements, but by the love we share and the light we bring into the world. As we continue to navigate the complexities of mind control and reality perception, let us not forget the power of gratitude. Gratitude is the heart's memory, a recognition of the blessings that permeate our lives, often in ways we fail to notice. By cultivating gratitude, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, from scarcity to abundance. Gratitude also has the power to transform our reality. When we express genuine appreciation for the people, experiences, and opportunities in our lives, we open the doors to more of the same. It is as if the universe responds to the frequency of our gratitude by bestowing upon us more reasons to be grateful. In our quest for mastery over our minds and our reality, we must also be willing to embrace change. Change is the only constant in life and our ability to adapt to it determines the quality of our experiences. By accepting change as an inevitable and beneficial part of our growth, we free ourselves from the fear of the unknown and the rigidity of old patterns. Change invites us to let go of what no longer serves us, to make room for new experiences and new ways of being. It challenges us to evolve, to expand our horizons, and to step into the fullness of our potential. When we welcome change with open arms, we align ourselves with the flow of life and the natural progression of our soul's journey. In conclusion, the tapestry of interconnectedness reveals that we are not isolated beings, but part of a larger symphony where each individual note contributes to the creation of a harmonious melody. Our thoughts, beliefs, and actions are instruments through which we influence the universal orchestra. By tuning into the universal rhythms, aligning our subconscious with our conscious intentions, and embracing change and gratitude, we can create a symphony of abundance that resonates within us and around us.
May we all continue to explore the depths of our interconnectedness and wield the baton of our consciousness with wisdom and compassion, conducting a life of harmony, abundance, and fulfillment. Embracing the journey, the continuum of self-discovery and universal connection. As we venture further along the path of self-discovery and universal connection, we must recognize that this journey is not linear. It spirals deeper into the essence of who we are and expands outward to encompass the vastness of the cosmos. This continuum of growth propels us to explore the infinite layers of our consciousness and the intricate web of life that we are part of. Within the spiral of our individual growth, each loop represents a cycle of learning and transformation. We may encounter similar lessons repeatedly, but each time we are equipped with new insights and a greater capacity for understanding. This cyclical nature of growth ensures that we are never stagnant. We are always evolving, even when it feels like we are treading old ground. The key is to approach these lessons with a fresh perspective and an open heart. The Web of Life Just as a spider weaves its web with precision and care, so too are we weavers of our own reality. Every choice we make, every belief we hold, every emotion we experience sends out strands that connect with the larger web of life. This web vibrates with the collective energy of all beings, each one contributing to the overall structure and strength of the web. Understanding our role in this web is crucial. We are both creators and creations, influenced by the energies around us even as we influence them. Our interactions with others, the natural world and the unseen forces of the universe are threads in this intricate tapestry. By being mindful of the quality of our contributions, we can ensure that our threads strengthen and beautify the web rather than weaken it. The Dance of the Cosmos The cosmos itself is in a constant state of dance, with celestial bodies moving in harmonious patterns that have captivated humans since time immemorial. Our lives, too, are dances, sometimes slow and graceful, other times fast and fervent. Embracing the rhythm of our own dance in sync with the cosmic rhythm allows us to move through life with a sense of grace and alignment with the greater whole. The Reflection of the Inner Universe Just as the outer universe is vast and mysterious, so is our inner universe. Our thoughts, emotions, and subconscious are like galaxies within us, waiting to be explored. The more we venture into this inner space, the more we understand the nature of our existence and the power we have to shape our reality. Self-reflection is the telescope through which we observe our inner universe. Through practices like meditation, journaling, and introspection, we can gain clarity on our inner workings and make conscious choices that reflect our truest selves. The Resonance of Vibrational Alignment Everything in the universe operates on vibration, from the smallest particle to the largest star. When we align our personal vibration with that of our desired reality, we tap into a powerful force of attraction and manifestation. This is not a passive process. It requires active engagement with our thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Vibrational alignment is achieved through authenticity and harmony within ourselves. It's about being true to our values, pursuing our passions, and living in a way that resonates deeply with our soul. When we are in alignment, the universe conspires to support us, opening doors and creating opportunities that align with our highest good. The Continuity of Conscious Contribution as we move through life, we leave a trail of energetic imprints. Our conscious contribution to the world is measured not only by what we achieve, but also by the energy we embody. 
By choosing to contribute positively, to uplift others, and to serve the greater good, we ensure that our energetic legacy is one of love, light, and inspiration. Each act of kindness, each word of encouragement, each gesture of compassion is a conscious contribution to the collective energy of humanity. These acts may seem small in isolation, but collectively, they have the power to transform the world. The Infinite Cycle Ultimately, the journey of self-discovery and universal connection is an infinite cycle. There is no final destination, no ultimate enlightenment. There is only the continuous process of becoming, becoming more aware, more compassionate, more aligned with the truth of our existence. As we embrace this journey, we realize that every moment is an opportunity to connect with the divine within us and all around us. We are part of something much larger than ourselves, a cosmic symphony that is eternally unfolding. In this grand symphony, each of us has a unique part to play. May we play it with courage, with joy, and with a deep sense of interconnectedness that reminds us we are all notes in the same divine melody, each contributing to the harmony of the universe.